Hello, right, so we are talking about this bad boy and this bad boy and why I have chosen to go back from from the Z Flip to the iPhone 13 which I've had for quite a few years so it's it's done me really really well um, it's 13 Pro Max it's got massive amount of memory it's got 512 gigs this has got I think this is 100 and, 128 gigs plenty of storage on both of them this one absolute beast um, batteries iPhone lasts longer even though this is only on it's about 84% battery health so this is, is what it is this is an older phone um, but it still lasts longer than the Z Flip now let's pop that down a minute as much as I love this form factor it's brilliant fits in your pocket absolutely fantastic it's great to carry around because it just slips in your pocket um, I found a few things really really annoying obviously opening this all the time I have oh, I don't know what that is I have um, had moments when I've opened and closed it and it's made almost like a, a grinding noise and it doesn't get opened a massive amount because I normally do a lot of everything on this front this front bit which uh, is really good so we have got I'll show you something that really really does wind me up if I've got it here right so it's the ring it's the ring app so if you put the ring it opens up gives you your whatever it is and then to close it is an absolute nightmare normally that little box doesn't come up and you're forever just trying to get rid of the bloody screen uh, the only easiest way of doing that is opening it swipe up get rid of it close it done so that even though it is useful it's very very niggly and it still doesn't work brilliantly it is okay um, typing on it bit of a nightmare because it's quite a small screen but it does work um, I just I just found it really annoying doing that um, or having to open it up and then do whatever on your screen there whereas if you've got your iPhone you just literally pick it up you've got your messages or whatever um, there we go it's, it's uh, YouTube and then you just go do 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 put it back down simple with this takes a little bit longer because you're fiddling around trying to get this thing to work at the top here this this screen at the front or you're opening it up and then you're having to press your hand on the side to unlock it to get into your app that you want to uh, reply to if it's a message so that I found is really really annoying not only that it's not only the phones it's also these so I don't know if that's got any power yes it has and I've got myself a another Apple watch you'll see in my other videos an Apple watch 8 and it's got a hundred percent battery life and this is from Amazon renewed and the battery in this is unbelievable um, I've had a 7 before um, I don't think there's much of an, a, an upgrade or difference in these but the battery on this lasts so much longer than the 7 I had and it will easily last two days easily this not a chance um, what I found really annoying on this every time I um, looked at my watch if I had a coat or a jacket on this little bezel would go like that and then it would go into the tile so it wouldn't even display what I was actually looking at uh, not only that is when you get a notification can't remember where they are on here uh, right you swipe up get rid of them all this that and the other you think you've got rid of them all hang on a second there's a few more there's loads I haven't worn the watch for a while ah <sighs> and then they let me put it back down and then they're all there again so you have to swipe off on them all again whereas with the uh with the apple watch it is swiped down you can see what you've got and you can just get rid of them all straight away it is frustrating i found this watch so bloody frustrating and it's not only this one it's exactly the same with all the other ones even without the bezels um and i've had them without the bezels i just felt like going for a change but i am keeping this and i am keeping this 
um, just in case I swap back or I break my iPhone. Um, simple as, but mainly this um, for doing my YouTube videos because the video on this, um, if you like me, small channel, video doesn't have to be absolutely fantastic. I'm filming on my ZV E10 at the moment. Um, I've not got a very fast card in there, so I'm worrying how that's going to go because I put it in my Fuji. Um, but the video on this is perfect for YouTube. It's easy, it's easy to do, easy to edit. It just works. It's, it's, if you want something that's decent video, does HDR10+, plus, um, it's nice and easy to uh, edit to get your stuff onto YouTube quick. You get a Z Flip 5 if you've got the money to do that. Because also when you're in, in video mode, let me just get it up. That is in photo, but it doesn't really matter. There we go, video mode. You can see yourself in there. Now, that's better than what I'm doing at the moment because you actually look at... See, at the moment, I'm probably looking slightly off over there to look to see if I'm framed and whatever else. With this, because the cameras are so close to the screen, you're actually looking at the camera. So it works really, really well for YouTube. Let me turn that off. Um, so... I just find, even though this is a big beast and it weighs a bit in your pocket, it's just a lot easier to use. A lot, lot easier to use. Um, I love the form factor, the idea of the folding phones. I did have the, one of the big ones. That was a nightmare because that's that, that, that's huge in your pocket. Great when you open it up. Great for editing videos and the memory and everything that it's got on there. The RAM worked really well. Same as that. It's got a good RAM. It's got good memory. It, it chunks through... Uh, Doing 4K videos, absolutely no problem. Um, not really had any issues with either with running out of space. I do, you do, uh, see, I wouldn't use an iPhone for doing uh, videos for YouTube because of the amount of memory and space that it uses. You would need, I mean, that's a 512. When I used to do it in uh, ProRes, um, it would absolutely destroy the space. There's no point at all unless you've got a terabyte. And then still you might have issues, but I, and I didn't really think the video files were that great. I find the video and the uh, the pictures, the images on the Samsung absolutely fantastic. The colour science is great, um, unlike on this uh, Sony. <laughs> colour science, eh? That's where Fuji shines. Um, that is about it. So this is all being shelved at the moment. You know, it's still it's still it's still kept charged. You know, it's still kept live. Um, I'm still going to be doing my YouTube videos. I mean, the watch are probably uh, just sort of go on. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might get rid of the watch, possibly. Don't know. Um, even though those watches are meant to work with um, Samsung's, uh, not Samsung, iPhone stuff now, which I can guarantee you the uh, the buds. Ooh, what have I got? Buds Live, uh, the, the second ver variation of them. Um, they work fine. They were a bit tricky to set up on the iPhone. weren't as easy as like a, a pair of iPods, but they've got more menus than you get in the actual Samsung thing. What is what's up with that Samsung? You would have thought you would have given a better app to your actual native uh, phone users. Really bizarre. Really, really bizarre. But it's another video. Um, yeah, I've gone back to Apple. Um, I've been an Apple user for many, many years, and I have. In the, in the year switch to Samsung for little while and I've done the same here and I did enjoy it you know it's good but it just doesn't work for me and I don't like their big phones uh, they tend to be absolutely horrendous I've had a um, a couple of the uh, S, uh, S22 I think I had S23 Ultras the, f the screen I mean with an iPhone they're wider so you get more real estate and it's easier to use with I mean, it's the same with Sony as well. They're doing thinner screens. I, I don't really get that because in when you're doing video, even photography, it's nicer to have that wider bit of screen rather than thin. So this works a bit better for me. The form factor... Yeah. I don't do photography on the iPhone. I do if it's just a, a little thing, even on the Z Flip, because they're not like using a proper camera. Even though everyone says they do, the little sensor's about that big. And on even what we're using now, and APS-C, they're probably four or five times the size. Maybe not that big, but anyway. Um, that's it. You know what to do. Like and subscribe.